Take two. Sorry. Delete that part, please. O eight O T. O eight O T. I never use that one. <laughs> Stop it! Stop laughing! Hey, it's not going to be scary if you laugh. But still, he finished hurriedly and walked speedily back to the car. Sorry, it's just the J.K. Rowling syndrome. The adverbs. On every sentence. <laughs> It had started out so well that it was hard to believe that it could end like this. Should I take out one of those that's? Definitely should take out the comma. Tard. <laughs> I love commas. I know, but it doesn't need one. It's another word for sparkling. Edward. Anyhow, Jewel State was a big fan of this show, and she called her agent, and she'd never called her agent on anything and said, I want to be on kind of thing but she called and said i really want to be on an episode of dead like me and the agent's like okay i'll make it happen and jewel said that you know she she should have been more specific because they booked her as a girl in an episode and said okay uh, you know it's just one day of work and it's like you're the girl in this this record store and so 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 this is jeremy he's going to be fucking you i remember that episode and she used that like that exact phrase and she's like what (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I and she's remember like, that episode. I, I, be careful what you wish for. Yeah, she was like the goth chick in the record store. That... Exactly. Yeah, it's, it was not typecasting at all. I mean, she's not that girl. Definitely not like Kaylee. <laughs> the car was practically silent, except for the static. Which... <laughs> Butthole. Which... <laughs> Which, <laughs> if you hadn't reacted, I wouldn't have started laughing, darn you. Yeah, but you still <laughs> added your comment on it. Yeah, but we could, I could be done with this paragraph by now. Dave was also draining himself. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I use that? <laughs> oh, you must have heard the phrase drain the lizard too much while writing this. Do you want to read it or do you want to be, come on, baby? You be come on, baby, okay? okay. Well, and how do you want me to say it? Just like you just did? No, I don't want you to be that cheesy. Do it as though you're actually, as if this actually happened to you, you know, and you're like, oh, come on, baby. Oh, okay. I was like, do it as though you're actually the Grim Reaper. And I was like, well, no, no, come, no. come on, baby. Dave was also draining his lizard on the opposite side of the car. Dave was also rattling his monster. <laughs> It's like, wow, that's an obscure reference. So this is the same scene from each other's point of view, right? The dialogue is exactly the same, right? I don't know. I I was thinking it was a repeated scene. But then I was wondering why this guy was still urinating when he ran back to the car earlier. I'm a little confused. Maybe that's what it is. I guess we can talk about that in the post show. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, how do I say this? Just the same exact way. Like, I would, on, I would baby. say it a little Don't more. Don't fear the reaper? <laughs> yeah, or... Something like that. A little more like, come on, baby. Don't fear the reaper. <laughs> Wait, how is that different than the way I said it? You just said it with more confidence. More like, no, more come, you know, whiny. Oh, okay. Where yours is like, come on, baby. Did I say that? <laughs> well, not so much like that, but you know what I mean. A more, come on, baby. Come on, baby. No, we the oh. reaper. The reaper. This is not the sickle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dave felt terribly alone amidst the fields and trees and cloudy sky. Well, actually, not alone, but as if the company with whom he was keeping was not one he wanted to be with. Gosh. <laughs> I think I was proud of myself for using whom, but who? Uh, <laughs> and this is the episode that I warned you about or, or promised you with however you interpret it. Did I say my name at the start? No, let's start over. They had been moving for three or four minutes when Brian glanced down at the gasometer. Gasometer is probably the <laughs> word we're looking for. <laughs> Awesome. Um, Shakespeare of my time. (laughs) Invented words. 
I love it. But afraid if he turned away from Dave, he would see the horrible long dead face of the ghastly creature staring wickedly on his side of the... Jeez. <sighs> I could cut out like 10% of the words. <laughs> But afraid that if he turned away from Dave, he would see the horrible long dead face of the ghastly creature staring wickedly on his side of the car instead of Dave's. <laughs> you really didn't need the instead of Dave's. That one needed to go. And so I, you're reading it? Is that... Yeah. But you, you read the last one. True. You can be a character... Do you have any dialogue in here? <laughs> it doesn't look like it, but yes, it's one yeah, of those two guys in a, on a car tr road trip story. Sweet. We're in a road movie to Berlin. They had stopped for gas only four times on the entire trip, and once only six dollars had to be spent. Now, as Brian drove... <laughs> I love that extraneous bit of information. Very awesome. I'm all alone out here. I'm all alone out here. Play with me. Play with me. All good. He hadn't seen anything for that matter. Nothing but endless rows of field after field after field after field. Sounds like a good chorus. Field after field after field after field after field after field after field. By outfield after. By rich outfield after field after. Onk outfield There hadn't been a house for miles. Nothing but endless stretches of road and fence. And rocks and trees and field after field after field. Sorry. Three. Holy moly, dude. Uh, uh, I think we've gotten the point here, I Mr. Can, Outfield. I can see what I'm trying to do, though. <laughs> yeah. Dave? Yeah? Do you remember it being this boring when we came through here before? Uh, field was, after field. I was going to make a, a a comment, but I'll just keep it to myself. Thank you, sir. <laughs> the, <laughs> it's so cold out here. So lonely. <laughs> this was so scary to me as a kid. I, <laughs> I, I mean, it's going to take a miracle to make it scary. <laughs> As adults. It's funny that it wants help, but also wants play yeah. in the same. You, you don't do mix help and play together, really. Is there a back seat in a Volkswagen? I think so, yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's back seats. Oh, I forgot you <clears throat> conceived in one. And conceived others in them. <laughs> well, like the back of a Volkswagen? The, the circle of life. Play with me. Come into the swamp in New Mexico. <laughs> Play with me. <laughs> Have a swim. There's got to be swamps in New Mexico. There's swamps here. <laughs> As if in answer to their question, the bizarre childlike... <sighs> <laughs> okay, childlike yawn. I've got like a burp that's not wanting to come out and it's causing me problems. It's a kid, Dave said, which in most situations would not be scary. But in this one was terrifying because Rish is really afraid of kids. Darn well am. His lights cut through the thick darkness as he shot through the night like a bottle rocket. This is the one you're talking about where you like if you knew more you'd... Yeah. Like adjust the driving I said that thing he was and in stuff. First gear, and I there might even be a comment that they're going like sixty miles an hour in first <laughs> gear. Oh, here it comes. Fifty in the dark on an unfamiliar road in first gear at night, being chased by an unnameable being. Out. That's a good sentence, dude. Kind of hard to say. That's a heck of a lot of commas, but yeah, I'll I like say. it. It's a comma after each word, almost. I want you to play with me. Then laugh. Then laugh. Scary laugh. Why?
<laughs> Stop! Or exclamation yeah. points. That's something that I you... Think today it would just be three. I mean, yeah. I've... You've learned some more restraint. restraint. But at that moment, the car slammed into the smiling figure, and its body was thrown up against the hood of the car with a dead thump. What did it sound like? (laughs) But it was not dead. Its fingers weren't dead. So it couldn't scratch dead fingers on the glass. Because I just told you it wasn't dead. Stop it. It was a... I got to take the smile out of my voice there. You have no idea how scary this story was to me. Oh, I believe it. It's pretty good as far as, you know. The the technique is really, really primitive. But, I, 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 but I, you can see what I'm trying to do. I may have to dig out my old spider woman story, and I think I've got it downstairs. I think I could find it in five minutes. Would you dare to read it? After the embarrassment of this? I would read it first and then decide. (laughs) (laughs) Brian's eyes were wide and wet, but Dave tried to calm him. Shh, it's okay. It's okay, honey. What? What? (laughs) The engine tried futilely. That's a hard adverb to say. Uh, Futile. Lee. Oh, why would I say, Fut- why is everything verb, adverb. adverb, and why not futilely tried to start? It just, it sounds so much better, futilely tried. Yeah. Oh, happy thoughts. Oh my gosh, really? Think happy thoughts? I can't even imagine a 16-year-old me would think. Well, Dave groans inside. Oh my God. Brian, don't throw up. It's what the ghost wants. Don't give it what it wants. What? Are you improving the story? It's too late for that, sir. This is page eight. Or 18. 18. Oh. <laughs> it just seems silly that they're worried about whether he throws up or not. Just puke on the floor. It's okay. It's kind of scary right now. Brian. <laughs> Come in the water. We'll have lots of fun. You know, this is the chattiest ghost ever. Well... Apparently, all he can do is tempt them in. Well, that's right. Maybe it has no power. He bashes against the car, but he can't open the door because it's locked. I wish I had thought it through as well as you have. <laughs> While outside, a child's tantrum-like squeals and cursings were quite audible. Quite <laughs> audible. Please, <laughs> Louise. <laughs> oh, that's good phrasing there. I like that one. Brian, the window, shouted Dave. But Brian was quite out of it. <laughs> Yikes. The quite. Is... But we could teach a whole class on this story of what not to do. and Just like, okay, this line would work better. Quite out of it. Listen to me. You've got to do your part or it'll get us both. Scoob. Sorry, I'm trying not to yell too. It's hard not to. When it's in all caps and bold with seven exclamation <laughs> points. The arms pried in harder and harder until the window shattered with the pressure. Dave was rained with broken glass. Like a horse. Ah, at least I spelled rain right. <laughs> is rain is a verb, right? Uh, I don't think you can be rained, though, unless somebody's pulling reins, perhaps. Ah, oh, well, we're all, they're almost dead. It's almost dead. <laughs> oh, at last um, <laughs> the arms groped Brian and grasped his penis I mean sorry <laughs> I was getting a completely different vibe from this story someone has previewed our stupid baby outtake what was stupid baby outtake I don't know that one's from before we actually had outtakes and you just happened to save that It was the only accident there had been there since a boy had disappeared in that era eight years before. Since the boy... It was the... It was the only accident there had been there. Mm. By the way, the sentence is stupid. Maybe the narrator is stupid. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I 
thought that was your kid, <laughs> but it's much, much worse. <laughs> it's like a set of cats out there going at it. Should we go out and throw a rock or something? Uh, do you have a flamethrower? No, unfortunately, it's uh, mine's in the shop. Inclusion. You understand what, what he's does trying that mean? to say? What does vague terror mean? I don't understand what he's vague trying to is say. Vague is confusing. You know, it's like we, some again, there's something out there, but we don't know what it is. That's how I interpret vague yeah, that terror. Does kind of seem what he's or saying. you can say there was something wrong in the house. But he couldn't put his finger on it. He wasn't sure if the house was evil or if the evil infected the house. Or if it was the writer. <sighs> Secretly wanted to kill his family and had to <laughs> express that in fiction so it didn't happen in reality. <laughs> There's a guy, Darren Kelk, who has maybe the worst last name I've ever heard. <laughs> and he has funny orange hair. I don't know if that, that's his real hair. I wouldn't think so, because he's got a bowler hat on, too. And it's red. Now, I can't say that he's got the worst last name ever, right? Because that's mean. Yeah, that's kind of mean. I shaved my kelk once. Felt good. Until it started to itch. PBS sent out a cease and desist or something like that because of the sexy Big Bird costume. <laughs> huh. Well, maybe they do have too much uh, funding. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that, that, I guess this will have to be an outtake, but there was a big hubbub about that. And then... The sexy big bird just no, big about, bird funding thing. No, about Romney's attack on Sesame Street. And, it, well, you know, it wasn't on Sesame Street. It was just PBS's subsidies or whatever. But there was a, an article that I read where it talked about how much money Sesame Street brings in on, on their uh, products and clothes and all this stuff. That is maybe the hottest thing I've <laughs> See, what's weird is that's so stupid. How could it actually be attractive? And I'm sure, I mean, she's a model that's wearing the suit. I'm sure she's attractive. And she's but got it, super high heel platforms, etc. But so. it doesn't matter. It just doesn't work for me. <laughs> it Does that turn, turn you on? on? No. I mean, the, the model herself is pretty good looking, but the Big Bird costume doesn't add to that, unfortunately. Well, see, to me, it detracts. She may be extraordinarily good looking. She well, may be it's... Zelda Rubenstein, and yet I don't feel attracted to her because of the... That one looks even less so. I wonder which sexy Big Bird costume they did the cease and desist on. I don't know. Not this one, because this one's in stock. The other one was at least out of stock. But, uh, well, wait, wait. Thanks, Mitt. Big Bird Thanks, Halloween Mitt. costume sold out. Thanks, Mitt. Okay, that is way hotter than the other two we saw, dude. That one is unidentifiable as Big Bird. Yeah, it doesn't. Whereas really the like others it. were clearly Big Bird, but that is so hot. I oh geez, <laughs> you disagree? Well, it's hot-ish. These things that make the feet are pretty awful. I don't know if I find that hotter or not. Huh. Kelk. That's an unusual last name, huh? It's not like uh, unusual like Zimbratskikowski Farnsky Goober or something like that, but... But somehow worse. <laughs> okay, what, do you agree with that? Is that? That is the cat. It's not something yeah. horrible and dead, is it? It's the undead. Look, undead monkey. <laughs> I like undead monkeys. All those damned flies. You might say it's a kingdom of flies in here. You'll never kill us all. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay.